Okay, here we go with that classic song, Time to Say Goodbye. I uh, put it in the key of G so we can simplify a lot of the chords, make it a little easier, and a lot more fun to learn. Okay, so I'll go through this. We'll go through the main melody of the song first. Uh, that's the part everybody remembers the most, and it's easiest, so we'll go through that, and then I'll break it down and show you how to do it, okay? We take this D note, instead of playing it here, we're going to go down an octave and play it there. The reason we do that is to try to keep our fingers close together when we're switching from chord to chord. So we're going to call this a G, but it's actually a G inverted chord. Okay, so we've got a G chord. We're going to be playing a D, okay, which is going to be your D, your A, and this G flat in the middle, this black note. Play a black note, you always have to slide your fingers in a little bit to reach them off. So slide them in and you get your D chord. Okay, we're also going to be playing an E minor. So if you find your E, go up every second note, your broad spread, that'll give you an E minor. There's also a C in there too, so go down here to C. Use that same spread every second note, your C, E, and your G. Write those down if you have to. Uh, but those are the main four chords that are going to get you through the whole song. So uh, once you've learned them, you basically learn most of the stuff for your, your left hand. You just need to know when to use them, that's all. Okay, so our right hand. It's very helpful if you hum the song or sing it to yourself uh, so you can keep track of where you are in the song. Okay? part before we move to the next one. Okay, so let's put the chords with it. Okay, get it starting off with our G, then we're going to the D, the E minor, and the C. So just follow that, uh, uh, that and you'll get it, okay? Your G chord. Switch to your D. Part 
part again before we move into the second part. Okay, so we have G chord. slow here. get into the uh, fun part where uh, you can either play both hands uh, according to your left hand or just play the right hand I think it's the part where she's singing by herself and it's a lot of fast notes back and forth uh, in your right hand so you can play by itself leave off the left hand or however you'd like to do it and I'll teach you both ways and basically is teach you that fast so now we're gonna start off with a C uh, C go C D E okay. okay so you got C D E D E G flat E F E G flat G flat G A G confusing isn't it let's try it this way if you want to use the chords in there again. Okay, so we've got C chord. Actually, the next part of that is identical to the, so you play that section we just did twice. Okay, then we're going to get to the end of that, it goes. Okay, and all that is is uh, C chord up to the D, back to the C. to 
the C, back to the G, and then back down to the G flat. That's a good easy way to play it. Okay, so, okay, so you got your C chord. C chord and go up here to the C, down to the G, G flat with your right hand, and then D chord here. Okay, so you got okay, and then it goes right back in the beginning of the song again. Okay, let's do the whole course at uh, one shot here. Okay, so we'll play the first part of it through twice, and then we go into that final ending, and then it goes back into the beginning of the song again, so you got like this. We'll do it nice and slow. Up to your G chord. Okay, and then we repeat it again. song again. Okay, you can wait through the whole thing like that. Okay, so there you have the whole song. Uh, have some fun with that.